so good afternoon uh, all sorry good morning good morning all and welcome to this lecture of biomedical instrumentation uh, electronics uh, myself dr andy mishra head and associate professor department of electronics shri mathura das mohta college of science i guess my screen is visible to you okay Is that my screen is visible to you? Hello. Yeah. This is locked. Hello. Hello. Let's work with you. Uh oh. That's all. So. I guess I'm visible. Hello. Let me start. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. So good up. Good morning. Good morning, all, and welcome to this uh, lecture of uh, biomedical instrumentation. I guess uh, my screen is visible to you all. Yeah. Yeah. Let me start formally. Yeah. So I guess my screen is visible to you. and uh, yes okay working right hello not working hello so yeah we'll start with this so today we are going to study with study the biomedical instrumentation uh, portion of it okay i guess the screen is visible to you and we are going to start with the biomedical instrumentation system right the unit number 4 uh, paper 2 uh, itm nagpur university syllabus of semester 4 electronic right so we are going to start with this let us begin with that so the first that we need to study is this biomedical uh, instrumentation system myself dr nd mishram head and associate professor department of electronics shri mathura das mohta college of science nagpur and yeah <clears throat> so the basics of that what we are going to cover in this topic is generalized medical instrument systems we have all seen we have all experienced these instrument systems uh, in uh, this pandemic of uh, covid 19 and then we'll uh, continue with the biopotential uh, components of medical instrumentation system then pc based medical instrument system and operational modes uh, medical measurement constraints what are the difficulties in measuring the uh, uh, parameters and classification of biomedical instrumentation uh, so and and so forth so we'll go through that then measurements of input system like this so the basic instrumentation system consists of uh, what what actually it consists of that we need to study so uh, actually it consists of the simple network that you can you are able to see at block level it will again describe that that we are having this measure at so we are going to measure the uh, something which is concerned with the human body right so that is over there and that is being sensed by this primary sensing element and then it is being converted into a uh, uh, electrical form some way or the other might be resistance might be voltage current or anything and then we need to uh, signal process it means we have to amplify it we have to convert it in the form which could be given to the output device and uh, lastly we will have the output display where where uh, we are actually able to see the result on that so this is basic instrumentation system i will again Uh, so elaborate that instrumentation system like this so if you go on elaborating that was the first which which is the basic block diagram of uh, biomedical instrumentation system which requires uh, essential requires that uh, particular block now if you go through this again we'll have this measure and and then we have this primary sensing element uh, variable conversion element we have to convert it to voltage current resistance inductance and so on then we have these power source over there 
then signal processing is there signal processing means which which, which is going to convert that into uh, say uh, voltage ampli uh, amplitude we have to change the amplitudes uh, we have to uh, increase the amplification so on and then we are give, given to this uh, say output display so we have some calibration part of it also because we need to calibrate since we are going to convert these physical human parameters into an electrical form so we need to calibrate it so it should be equivalent to that means uh, whatever we are going to show, show is uh, might be by default might be voltage might be current so that current should be calibrated in the form of say temperature so if you are going to measure the temperature so it, it should be calibrated in that range of a temperature so the voltage that we are expecting to see on the screen or on the display uh, should be uh, calibrated according to the temperature of that so say for example uh, i am uh, i need to measure the temperature of a normal person so it's around 96 98 degrees centigrade right now when i when i attach a sensor over here so it is going to convert it into a voltage and ultimately at output display we are going to see the voltage itself or say uh, for example we are considering so if it is a voltage so it, it should be calibrated up to 98 millivolts or 98 volts accordingly so that the display show display will show you uh, 90 98 uh, number right still it is uh, a voltage but for a layman it, it might be considered as a uh, temperature so we are calibrating that particular voltage into temperature so that is the basic concept of uh, the calibration so calibration is required and some of them are radiation electric current and other applied energy so these these are the things which are to be measured over there now what are the things which can which we can measure uh, we will see in that uh, this is the control uh, feedback that we have to give to the human so that and they, this actually is a control system <clears throat> uh, we can store the data we can transmit the data whatever data we are receiving so uh, if you go to an icu uh, intensive care unit of a uh, hospital then you will be able to see all so all these uh, types of gadgets which are att attached to uh, a person <clears throat> so actually it is a monitoring system which is going to monitor uh, the physiology of a human right so these are the elements uh, and uh, which are shown by the dashed line are optional for some applications so we can use them or we might use so these are the control systems which we might use or might not use right so uh, these are something so calibration is there which can not be used which may be or may not be used then these are some of the electrical parameters and these feedback units so these are some things which which are uh, not essential they can be eliminated also right so this was about the general block diagram i will show you one more diagram of that that basic instrumentation system now this is uh, a colorful diagram of that so now again we are having this energy source that might be electric light infrared mechanical or say ultrasound these are some of the fundamentals which are which are being employed for this measurement so this is going to measure and in respect of this measurement we are going to get uh, uh, through this sensor or a transducer by calibrating it to a particular level we are great, going to get some form of uh, electrical signals that might be voltage or current and they are being given to a pre-amplifier this is what is called a signal conditioning so we are going to uh, change we are going to vary according to our requirements so that we are able to see it on the screen right so this is the pre-amplifier that we are having and then we are having again signal processing might be we might convert it into voltage might be converted into current might be converted into ac voltage so accordingly we'll have this signal processing we might have to amplify that so that we are able to see so these are all things come under the signal processing and this is called as a control system if, I, if you are able to see this is a uh, now uh, the advancement of that so these are these control systems control all the blocks of that so we can use a microcontroller over here uh, which can which can operate all those things accordingly so as per our requirements so if you need to measure the temperature or this physiological parameters uh, in equal duration of time so this controller can be programmed accordingly and this will take care of 
the readings and it will be storing those readings it will be giving the data to the concerned doctors and all we can also send the sms to the doctors also for if there is any requirement for that so these are all done by this control system and uh, these control systems are actually nothing but the microcontrollers okay. okay then we are having alarms display data storage data transmission data recording everything which are being controlled by these control systems over here uh, display will give you the display of the output that we require then alarm if there is emergency in that if the patient is uh, feeling uh, more unconscious then this alarm will blow so that the doctors or the nurses will come to know that uh, there is a requirement of medical um, medical over there so that can be done uh, data storage does this data can be stored on equally interval of time so that we can maintain the record of the patient and uh, we can keep the history of that so that proper medication should be given to that then this is data transmission as i told you sms can also be sent to the uh, doctors concerned doctors and accordingly the treatment can be given then we are having uh, data recording so we can transmit the data as well as we can record the data so this is all about the basic instrumentation system now the concerned our concerned things which we require over here are those so pre amplifier processing displays and control systems uh, we we will study in depth and but we we are mainly concerned about this block so we are having this measure and and uh, sensors and transistors so let us see over there this is some more uh, block diagrams of that so again we are having the same sort of that that was colorful and this is a little bit dull uh yeah so uh, what are the components the basic components for the medical instrumentation system so the basic components of medical instrumentation system are the measurement actually without measurement we are not going to uh, know what what things we are going to measure so the measurement is very important than the sensor and the transistor these are the most important block uh, of a uh, medical instrumentation system without this we are not able to do anything right so medical instrumentation uh, sensors and transistors then signal conditioning as i told you and the output display then some of the auxiliary components are there uh, which we'll see one by one okay so uh, yeah so we'll start with uh, some of them uh, right so first of all what what are measurements so the measurements are the physical quantity or property or condition that the system measures is called as measurement jo measure karna hai that particular quantity that might be physical quantity that might be some of the property or say a condition at which we are going to get that uh, uh, data so that particular uh, uh, quantity is called as the measurement and the accessibility of measurement is important because it may be internal like blood pressure it may be um, on the body surface that is a, a electrocardiogram which we call it as ecg and uh, emanate from the body that is infrared radiation that is being emitted from our body itself and that might be derived from the tissue sample such as blood or biopsy so these are some of the measurements which which are uh, required uh, which are present in the uh, human body and uh, we just need to uh, say identify that and then we need to uh, record those things by using the sensors and transistors so the physical quantities or properties or condition that the system measures that the system is expected to measure is called as the measurement the accessibility of the measurement is important why because uh, it may be the blood pressure which is internal so the blood flow then we have on the body surface uh, like this so we can put the electrodes on the body and we can measure the uh, potentials so that is called as uh, for example that is electrocardiogram uh, electroencephalogram we'll see one by one and then some of the radiations that are being emitted by the body uh, in the form of infrared radiation so that can also be taken as the inputs and uh, the other one is derived from the tissue samples such as blood or biopsy so we we go for blood test and the urine test and all so that is so these are some of the types uh where where we, we are going to measure the physiology of a human being so those are measurements these are some more measurements 
so how we are going to measure this so by potentials we need we are going to study in depth then we are have to have the pressure flow dimensions that is imaging uh, displacement that is velocity acceleration and force imp impedance uh, resistance that is and temperature and chemical concentration uh, so, so chemical chemical concentrations uh, like that and uh, the measure measure and may be localized to a specific organ or anatomical structure so that can be uh, anything which is which is we are expecting to measure that is called as the measure okay then the second part of the medical instrumentation system is the sensor which is very crucial very important part of any of the instrumentation system that might be biomedical or that might be anything but it is the most uh, uh, important portion uh, as far as uh, the instrumentation sense instrumentation system is concerned sensor or a transducer a transducer i, I have already defined we have studied in depth what are transducers transducers are actually which converts one elect one form of energy into another in our uh, in our the convert a non electrical or a physical uh, quantity into uh, say electrical quantity like a voltage current resistance or anything or vice versa so we have all uh, transducers which we call it as reverse transducer and transducer also so these are transducer and what are sensors so sensors converts a physical measurement to an electrical output so actually sensors are the one which is going to sense the changes in this physio, uh, physical measurement right so this is going to convert then the sensor should respond only to the form of energy present in the measurement to the exclusion of all others so if you are going to measure the temperature so it should not give you the results of other uh physical changes it should give only the changes in the temperature which are being observed so the sensor should be the sensor is very important and it should respond only to the form of energy present in the measure then the sensor should non invasive and minimal invasive now what is no invasive and non invasive right uh you have seen sugar blood sugar measurement so what we do we, we pick uh and we take the blood sample and we put it on the sugar meter blood blood sugar meter and there uh, we try to find so this is called as the invasive wherever we are going inside the body then that is called as invasive and for as far as sensors are concerned we should be non invasive so that we can have the uh, details on the surface of the body we should not insert those uh, electrodes or uh, those uh devices into our body so that is called as non invasive so we the sensor should actually be non invasive or minimal invasive that it should not get inside the body so it should be uh, non invasive or minimal invasive so these are characteristics of sensor then we have sing signal conditioning as i have told you the signal conditioner may only uh, amplify and filter the signal or merely match the impedance of the sensor to the display these are the basic conditions the often sensors outputs are converted to digital form and then processed by specialized digital circuits or microcomputer yeah so whatever signals we are getting we are we are having it in the analog form right so we need to convert into digital form so the digital circuits are required where we study we had studied in paper 1 that is analog to digital converter and those converters can be used in the signal conditioning so we are we require the filters to just have our data so other signals should be filtered out and uh, the prominent data our data which is required is to be taken and uh, this reduces the undesirable sensor signals and lastly it may also average repetitive signals to reduce noise so there while taking the signals while taking while taking the data there is a possibility that the sensor might take the noise also something which is unwanted that is called as noise so that those signals which are unwanted uh, that can also be picked up by the sensor so that should we uh, uh, are expecting that those signals should be filtered out right so those signals can be filtered out by using the signal conditioning right and uh, uh, yeah some some uh, might have their the frequency response also so the frequency should be uh proper if you increase the frequency the sensor might not work so the proper frequency should be given and that that is given by the signal condition uh, output display we all know what are output displays 
the results of the measurement process must be displayed in the form that the human operator can perceive means the uh, layman could understand so as you see the digital thermometer nowadays so we all are able to know uh, what is the reading which are being displayed on the temperature temperature meter thermometer right so that is actually the intention of electronic system so whatever uh, we are we are we are designing or we are uh, say uh, we are making the instruments those are should be usable for the for a layman a layman or a non electronic person should also be able to use that is the basic concept of that and that is done by this output display so we should convert these signals into human readable form we should calibrate those things according to our requirement simple we we weigh, uh, we have a weighing machine so weighing machine simply give you uh, the weights in kg so it's very simple the display shows you 70 70.4 which implies that we are having uh, we are having the weight according to uh, that so uh, you a layman can also read that and say yeah i am having a weight of 40 kg or 70 kg like that so the best form for display may be uh, numerical graphical discrete or continuous permanent or temporary visual or hearing so these are some of the form uh, where we can have this output display right so it should be numerical as i've told you temperature uh, thermometer is having a numerical display then uh, weighing machines are having um, numerical display graphical res responses that we are seeing on the uh, uh, ecg machines there are ticks which show which are shown that discrete or continuous permanent or temporary displays so some might be permanent it should show you that uh, exact data or it should change keep on changing as per the uh, data is coming on the screen we can have visuals visuals like screen or we can have a hearing and also like beep and all so that can be uh, taken as the output display okay now the auxiliary components the components which uh, are shown by the dotted line which was shown out there the calibration signals with the properties of the measurement should be applied to the sensor's input or as early in the signal processing chain as possible many forms of control and feedback so we are having the controllers which are going to control that devices yeah, control the uh, operations of that so that those are auxiliary means which are which may or may not be used in this instrumentation uh, the control and feedback may be automatic or manual so microcontrollers nowadays are being employed for automatic type of things so these are all yeah storage devices uh, they are they might be important or might not be important they might be employed or not so these are some of uh, communication systems so we might uh, not be uh, have to communicate these data to doctors or uh, and all uh, one more topic that is uh, very important is that the pc based medical instrumentation system now uh, this pc based medical instru instrument system what it is actually is it is the personal computer or popular in medical field and also software is largely commercial available and the users can purchase and use it simple we are having nowadays apps on your mobile which are, which are going to give you more data of say heart rate or say sugar uh, heart rate or uh, say oximeter and all so you can measure those things on your mobile itself so what are that those are the those are actually the applications or apps which are being designed those are softwares which are being designed and they are freely available on your mobile phone Sorry. so computers are also widely accepted in medical field for data collection manipulation processing and say complete workstation for for a variety of applications so those are there uh, these top personal computer becomes workstation with the simple installation of one or more instruments on a board in its necessary slots so a computer can be fixed at the uh, center position and uh, all the devices of all the patients can be monitored by a single computer in which the data are being stored and these this is controlled by the computer software so these are pc pc based uh, medical instruments here yeah. this is how we are expected so these are some of the biomedical signals of different patients and though there are different uh, parameters also so many parameters different patients they are being taken uh, to the transducer they are being signal conditioning data acquisition board and they are given to the personal computer and the software which is there 
this takes uh, this takes the control of all those systems and the that is being stored on there so the personal computers are basically used for this data then uh, yeah these are some of uh, more characteristics of that of a pc based work system is highly flexible and can accommodate a variety of inputs which can be connected to pc for analysis graphics and control so remember the histories of a patient can be uh, loaded on uh, the computer itself basic elements in the system include sensors or transistors that convert physical phenomena the same system same things that we have studied and now we, the microcontroller the processor is going to use the computer is going to uh, going to uh, control these things and the data can be stored right so these are basic pc medical instruments are gaining popularity for several reasons including price programmability and performance specification software development rather than hardware development increasing dominates new product design cycle uh, so software is very important My, uh, i recommend many of the students to go for software design because that is actually required nowadays uh, for uh, further uh, say is it so these are some of the categories of measurements i need to complete these also there are three general categories of measurement direct measurement indirect measurement and null measurement we we'll see one by one in short so the direct measurement is direct measurement are made by holding the measurement up to some calibrated standards and comparing to so that is called as direct for example meter stick if you see this so we are we are directly uh, measuring the wire by using this meter scale on that there are readings so this is called as the direct measurements i guess you have understood the direct measurement we all have done this uh, there are some more that those are called as indirect measurements are made by measuring some something other than the actual measure measure act means ab main dusre kisi cheez ko measure kar raha hu aur fir usko uske sath calibrate karunga that is called as the indirect measurement indirect methods are often used when direct measurements are either difficult or dangerous so we use this indirect method on uh, might measure the temperature of a point on the wall of a furnace that is melting uh, a metal right so ab agar hum log ye isko dekhe so this is a furnace now i if i put this thermometer into this furnace this furnace means jahan par uh, 1200 degree 1600 degree temperature de raha diya ja raha hai and we are uh, dissolving the metals right तो अगर मैंने ये थर्मामीटर इसके अंदर डाला तो ये थर्मामीटर मेल्ट हो जाए तो फिर हम क्या करते हैं इसके बॉडी का टेम्परेचर मेजर करते हैं एंड अकॉर्डिंगली वी ट्राई टू सेंस व्हाट वुड बी द टेम्परेचर इनसाइड साइड सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इनडायरेक्ट इनडायरेक्ट मेजरमेंट लाइक दिस सो वी हैव सीन दिस मैनी टाइम वाइल वी यूज द ब्लड प्रेशर मेजर द ब्लड प्रेशर सो वॉट वी डू वी यूज दिस कफ एंड देन वी मेजर दिस एंड अकॉर्डिंगली वी चेक द uh by thetoscope what would be the uh, say pulse rate right so accordingly we'll have such type of a system where we can have indirect measurement of blood pressure so we are not going to measure the blood flow directly inside the blood vessels but we are measuring outside it so this is the direct indirect measurement then we are having null measurement null measurements are actually made by comparing a calibrated source to an unknown measurement right so we have a zero volt zero so whenever we measure a distance by using a scale so we start from zero so zero is supposed to be the null right so for calibration we take that at as a zero point and then we start measuring from that zero so that particular is called as uh, null measurement and that is required for all the instruments so before starting the instrument we have to take this null measurement so that we should have the zero point over there. so this much uh, is for there so this is one of the example of that Where we can have this null measurement. This is a zero center galvanometer. It is. It should be kept at zero so that we can have a null measurement and we can adjust it by using this potential. Uh, I guess this much is over for today. So thank you, thank you very much for joining. I guess uh, we'll be having some more uh, lectures on this and we'll be completing within this. So today we have studied the biomedical instrumentation portion of that uh, in which. Uh, we have tried to give the brief idea of what is the human uh, biomedical instrumentation system and what are the basic block diagrams of that 
and then what are the pc based instruments in which uh, we are using that and then what are measurements uh, what are the blocks in this human uh, measuring instrument and what uh, how we can measure the uh, measurements that is direct indirect and null measurement so we have studied all those thank you thank you for joining i guess you have understood if you have any queries you can ask me uh, or you can put comment on my youtube channel so thank you thank you very much for joining and uh, yeah i hope you have got all those things so, yeah thank you thank you very much for joining stay tuned to my youtube channel i will be uploading more videos on my youtube channel please go through my uh, channel like subscribe and share my videos thank you thank you very much have a nice time stay home stay safe take care bye good day see you in the next class bye